Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie called Synchronic. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. In New Orleans, Louisiana, Steve, a ladies' guy, and Dennis, a married father, work as paramedics together. They are dispatched to a succession of incidents in which people have died in mysterious circumstances or whose stories are incomprehensible. Synchronic, a new designer drug, has been linked to the cases. They discover a stabbing victim and an antique sword stuck in the wall while responding to a domestic abuse call. Steve gets accidentally punctured with an unclean needle while tending to an injured man. When he is checked for infections, it is discovered that he has cancer in his undeveloped and non-calcified pineal gland. The second call, a burn victim, is a body that has been thoroughly charred. A bite from a deadly snake no longer found in the area is the third call. They locate a dead boy at a drug party, and a girl claims there was a third girl, Dennis's adolescent daughter, Brianna. The following morning. Steve goes to a local smoke store and purchases all of the synchronic, which he discovers is no longer available. As he walks away, Steve turns down a man's offer of three times the value of the item. Steve discovers the stranger breaking into his home the next morning. He claims to be the chemist behind Synchronic, a drug that modifies the pineal gland's perception of time. Children with a non-calcified pineal gland go through the motions of life. Adults appear to travel through time just partially, as if they are ghosts. A sword fight victim dies on their following call. When faced with his friend's death, Steve, a scientific history buff, quotes Albert Einstein on the meaninglessness of time. Dennis's marriage deteriorates as a result of Brianna's absence. He misinterprets Steve's bad health and use of painkillers as evidence that he is a morphine addict when he discovers someone has been stealing morphine. While treating a yelling patient, the two come to blows. Steve uses Synchronic at home and travels back in time to when the area was covered in swamps, where he is attacked by a conquistador. Steve keeps track of his findings, deducing that Synchronic allows for seven-minute time travel in the same geographic region. When he returns to the Ice Age, he discovers that the destination year is determined by his location when taking the pill. Steve returns to the 1920s with his dog, Hawking, and is pursued by the Ku Klux Klan during his next attempt. He loses Hawking when he moves away from the original place and is unable to reclaim him. He encounters numerous tribal men chasing him up a tree after taking another synchronic pill where Brianna vanished. Brianna may have wandered off before taking synchronic, he hears later from one of Brianna's pals. He also understands that touching objects can bind a person to a specific time period. At a pub, Steve and Dennis have a conversation. Dennis, who has taken his life for granted, believes he is on the verge of splitting up with his wife. Dennis and Steve reunite when Steve tells him about his cancer. Tom, their driver, was swindling the morphine. Steve shows Dennis the recordings of his time travel at his family's graveyard, and they surmise that Brianna may have left a message for them to find in the park. From there, Steve travels back in time to the War of 1812 when he finds himself on a battlefield. While looking for Brianna, he gets shot in the leg. He gives her his last medicine after discovering her in a trench. Steve commends her for marking a boulder, but she claims she did not. They are stopped at the boulder by a looter who believes Steve is a fugitive slave and threatens to kill them both. While Steve diverts the looter's attention, Brianna safely returns to the present. Steve appears in the present and shakes Dennis's hand as Dennis cuddles Brianna. 